All right, so this is day four of me doing this mm, gratitude three six five journal, whatever it's called app thing. Um, you would think I'd be able to s see what the title is on the app, but I, I, I don't know. <laughs> um, you know, in, in in my app library, like it it shows um, it shows this icon, not necessarily the name of the app, so. I thought it was 365 Gratitude, but I think in the App Store it's actually called here. Gratitude Journal 365. I saw in the tiny, tiny icon. Uh, um, so um, let's go here. I think I'm between good and meh. I think I, I think I'm going to go with good because I think I'm more on the good side than the meh side. Uh, the reason why I'm not fully good is because, you know, I'm still processing some of the stuff that I talked about in my previous blog. And it's a lot. Um, and I don't know. I just, I can't wait for when I can just live and not just keep processing, processing. But I don't know. We'll see. Maybe that's not a thing. Maybe no one does that. I don't know. Um, dear Janelle, so I've updated my profile. So it stops calling me gratitude. Gratitude is an exceptionally powerful practice that can bring about transformative changes in various aspects of our lives by fostering mindfulness, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so when I say blah, 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 it doesn't mean I, I think it's like useless or boring. It's just I'm going to kind of skim. I'll process it in my mind, but it's hard to read out loud. Uh, resilience, lasting impact. Oh, I'm um, fast-paced, aren't society. We become, yep, what's missing in our life or assaulted by advertisement, uh, whatever. Uh, must feel sense of inadequacy. Oh, yeah, thank you relentlessly for temporary pleasures um happiness often remains elusive as we chase after one fleeting goal after another hey my therapist said it's okay if that's how i live my life um well i guess it's not okay if i'm very unhappy during it but i'm just a challenge oriented person i get dopamine from them never recognize the value of the very things we already possessed uh as we pause to acknowledge express gratitude uh shift losses view Abundance. By intentionally embracing gratitude, gradually strengthen our ability to see the beauty in everyday life, not just in extraordinary moments. We must be mindful of small acts of kindness, uh, laughter. Uh, today, make a conscious effort to step away from the constant worries of what is missing in your life and direct your focus on appreciation what is abundant around you. Give thanks for all the blessings in your life, both big and small. Interesting. Um, I think it's kind of tough because I don't think that... Um, the thing I'm struggling with is caused by me being ungrateful for the things around me. If anything, I, I almost, som I sometimes don't feel deserving of it. Um, but I think, you know what? I think maybe, maybe that's it. If you don't feel like you don't deserve something, are you expressing gratitude for it? Because maybe part of gratitude is accepting, um, the, th the things that you are grateful for instead of like trying to push them away by, thinking you don't deserve them maybe um that that would make sense um i still disagree uh, with the, their whole happiness as a choice thing um like you know that could be like i could have taken that taken it the wrong way like out like not how it was intended but i do think that is something that um it's a version of toxic positivity that overall is pushed on us a lot and so I also like I worry not just about myself but how other people interpreted that um, and I'm getting off track right now um, what made me think of this yeah so um, I don't feel like it's that like I'm uh, I'm ungrateful I don't realize how blessed I am but I do think that maybe expressing the gratitude for it um, it's not just about me realizing like oh i have so much to be grateful for but me um finding joy in those things and maybe by being able to find joy in those things then eventually i'll feel more joy and and those things will be uh it will be easier for those things to bring me joy again uh like I alluded to in my last vlog, uh, medications can be very important because 
maybe you're just not at a mental space where even being grateful for things will actually bring you joy maybe it, it'll make you feel worse um so i i just wanted to point that out there i think right now um i am okay enough to try to understand that um just understand i guess what they're what they're going for which again i think is just mm, not to imply that i'm that i'm being ungrateful for not finding joy and like the everyday laughter um but just like you know I, I have had this feeling that yeah i'll laugh and i'll have fun and play video games for a few hours and then it's like nothingness again maybe part of the gratitude is f to help that joy carry over and uh, we'll see where this journey takes me for at least three more days because that's when the free trial ends i don't remember how much it costs it might be expensive <sighs> okay constant effort step away from the constant worries what is missing in your life that is that might actually be good advice for me right now um because you know a lot of things i was thinking of is oh i don't have friends i don't have people to relate to me um but I, I would think like oh like i have monica why am i still feeling lonely i do think it's important to acknowledge that you can have what a, a lot of people think is having it all and still not feel okay um <sighs> But I think me at least trying to redirect my focus right now can be helpful. Um, give thanks to all the blessings in your life. What are you most grateful for today? I'm grateful that um, that I have, if, you know what, my, my, I've been messaging a lot, so my thumbs are kind of tingling. That I have people that I haven't spoken to in years who I'm still able to have good conversations good conversations with today uh, have good conversations with today um, it says what I'm most grateful for I'm going to add one more thing I'm also grateful that talking to my sister and even just listening to her and what she's going through can be healing in moments where I'm not feeling the best okay <sighs> take a moment to write three amazing things that ha happened today mm. is this gonna get tedious or am i going to start you know noticing things and appreciating it okay um i called my sister and talked to her for an hour and felt much better and I hope she felt better too. Okay. I got through having really bad panic attacks this morning and was able to realize that I just needed to wait for the bad thoughts to go away. Oh man, I forgot this happens. Um, forgot that I'm not supposed to um, use the mirror option, but use the airplay option. Because uh, for some reason that's more stable. Okay. I, I need one more thing. Um, what happened today? I was able to talk to Monica about all the stress that I was feeling last night and able to work through it in a way that was less 
circuitous than before? Circuitous? Circuitous. Okay, I don't know if this is a word. And if I, I don't know how to pronounce it. Circuit. Ah, sir. Can't you Ah, stop it. Oh, it's still listening to me. Circuit. So wait, how am I supposed to pronounce this? What? This doesn't. Okay, it's gotta get me to how to pronounce it. <laughs> Circuitous. Circuitous. Oh. I don't think I was close. <sighs> okay. Uh, sure. Share all the information about me as you want. I don't know. This is going to really like come back to bite me one day. Um, I have the strength to overcome any negative thoughts or feelings. I don't know if, I, if, if that's true about any negative thoughts, but about some. I'm proud of myself for finding effective ways to work through my stress. Hmm. Oh, that's a good one. Wait, I feel like I'm grateful for my opportunity to share my stress with Monica. <sighs> I'm thankful for the healing power of connecting with my sister. Aww. You know what? The I I actually like pretty like I actually like the the AI um thing turning um the amazing things into affirmations because I don't know it's it was it's interesting and it makes me think about things in a different way. <sighs> I'm awesome. All right. Um I think um, going for a walk in the rain. Here, I'll give you a like. Uh, let's see. Ooh, resources. It's Helen Keller's story of my life. Huh. That, yeah, I might be interested in that. The podcast. Uh, Gratitude Affirmations by Manifest by Jess. It's so by manifest or by just. Maybe that's what's called a highly sensitive person. Hmm. Maybe I'll, I'll look some of, some of that up if I remember. I might just forget because I'm not writing it down. Um. Oh, oh. While I'm grateful to be light, I'm tired of having this depersonalization feeling, dream state feeling. I've had it for a couple of months now. I just can't deal with it anymore. I don't know what I can do to make it better. I don't know how to make it go away. My anxiety is at full force today. I'm having two to three panic attacks a day. Sometimes the last day, I just started therapy and have an appointment to get on anxiety and depression meds next Wednesday. I guess all I can do is wait and pray to God the meds they give me help me. If you please say a prayer for me, I would greatly appreciate it. Wow. Um, good for um, good for you. Good for you for taking the steps to take care of yourself. It can be really hard to take those steps because it's scary and sometimes it's hard to even realize that we deserve to get help I think you should be really proud of yourself and I really hope your appointments go well you can just take care of yourself because because oops because it's really hard ah that's scary it's scary sometimes it's hard to even realize that we deserve to get help i think you should be really proud of yourself and i really hope your appointments go well Okay. <sighs> I think that was good. Um, cause yeah, like, sound. It kind of seems like she she hasn't been on antidepressants and anxiety meds before. Um, I hope she is. Um, I hope she she makes it through to next week, and 
gets the help she needs. I know it's hard because like sometimes the meds don't help and sometimes you need to take a bunch of different ones. And that's really frustrating, can be really um, discouraging. So I wish her luck. I just like it too. Fearful the swelling has gone down on my face. I have a fractured cheekbone and I'll be seeing a surgeon on Monday. I'm grateful this exercise. This injury hasn't really stopped me from doing day-to-day -day things, just no hard exercise. I'm grateful to listen and learn. Oh, that's a, uh, yeah. All right, so, um, let's see, I don't think I need to generate more affirmations right now because I thought those were good. I'm grateful for a roof over my head. I mean, yeah, like, oh, reminders for Astro. Ah, uh, stop it. What is, um, what are these notifications? Like, why does it say I have two notifications, but when I click it, nothing happens? I don't, I don't understand this. Oh, okay, I gotta scroll up here. Um, There's so much I need to. Oh, wow! She read that and responded it so quickly. Hmm. I'm not gonna add more, but like you know, I'm glad it means a lot to her, and you know, I, I really, I really mean it. Like, it's tough. It's tough. 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 <sighs> um. Cool. So, I think. Yeah, that's it for, for this. I like the affirmations. Um, I, th I do think it's interesting how they turn like what you write into affirmations. Um, I I think maybe the what I get I will get from this is um, has to do with with the reflections and because you know when you're going through bad days it's. Um, it's uh, it's hard to forget that you've ever had good days. So hopefully this will <sighs> help me remember. What did I write? I'm trying. I'm trying hard every day. I don't realize in every day that there are people who care about me. And trying to remember. Uh, a lot of trying. I remember that I had value. That should have been add values to people's lives by reaching out. I'm very privileged to have a family that cares about me. And that I have friends who care about my well-being and see value in me. Um, I think there's a, a bit of shame with the word privilege. And I think me saying this, saying I'm very privileged to have family that cares about me, it's actually kind of not just being grateful for it, but also being kind of ashamed that I do have this privilege. Um, So I think that's, I don't know. That's something I need to think about, um, how I, how I view things like that, you know, and view things like having privilege. It's not necessarily something to be ashamed about. I, I don't know why I do. I think part of it is because if I have privilege, then it kind of makes me feel like I'm invalidating my own sh struggles. Like, Mm, you're not that depressed. You can't be because you're privileged, you know, which isn't true, which isn't true. We all have different privileges. Um, probably. Um, yeah. Anyway, I think, um, that might be enough reflecting for me today. I think I, I'm going to burn myself out trying to process everything, everything that's happened. So, I'm going to stop this here and try to kind of zone my brain out for a bit, at least in terms of <laughs> all this therapy stuff. All right. Um, again, this is my experiences with this Gratitude 365, uh, day four, and hope, hope someone relates. Hope this helps someone. <laughs>